Hello lovely people, my name is Emma and today I'm doing the genre book tag. Now this was a tag that was originally created by Harriet Rosie recently to fill a void in kind of the booktube discussion about basically just what are your favourite genres, what are your least favourite genres and to discuss the breakdown of genres in general. Now I'm actually going to be doing this tag twice over. My plan is to do it for fiction and then to do it for non-fiction. So I think the fiction one, which is what I'm doing today, is going to be going out first and then in a week or two expect my non-fiction one. So there are seven questions in total and we're going to jump straight in. The first question is what are your favourite genres? And for me my favourite genres in fiction come down to mainly what I consider to be speculative fiction. Um, so this is where it's normally some kind of contemporary setting and then there is some sort of little twist or um, kind of thought experiment taken to its nth degree. Sometimes they contain some kind of sort of magical element, sometimes it's a slight historical twist, but I really enjoy speculative fiction in general. I suppose a more niche subgenre that I'm a super super big fan of as well is post-apocalyptic or survivalist fiction and this is where for whatever reason the world's pretty much gone to shit and it's about a small group of people trying to survive, whether that be survive in a context of linked to something from like horror like a zombie or whether it just be more of a um, more kind of general idea of humanity has contracted some kind of horrible illness and there's very few of us left so those were I'd say are some of my favorite genres obviously as anybody who's been on the channel for a while knows I read from like a really big range of genres so there's probably a solid like five or six more I could talk about but today I'm going to try and keep my answers to one or two maximum so I don't just end up talking about it like constantly. The next question is what are your least favourite genres? And um, for me at the moment um, I'm really not feeling thrillers whether it be kind of procedural thrillers or domestic thrillers anything that really feel, falls into that kind of category of some sort of violent act within the book being the main focal point of the book is something that for me right now is just not really connecting. Um, I do enjoy like classic thrillers so I've been reading a lot of like Agatha Christie, Sherlock Holmes things that I say a lot like a couple of books from them over the past year or so but when it comes to contemporary thrillers it's just something that's really leaving me cold at the moment. Um, I also so just I'm not in the mood for anything that I'd consider to be either high fantasy or high sci-fi. Um, basically if your world building is going to go on for a solid 300 pages or more independent of the plot I'm not really here for it right now which is really interesting because high fantasy is something that I have deeply enjoyed in the past and more of that space opera high sci-fi kind of stuff but just right now in my reading taste at the moment it's not really appealing and I'm enjoying much more cozy sci-fi and fantasy. And with all of these ones I do preface saying you know I used to read a lot of procedural thrillers as well when I was a teenager. I think I think for me I go through phases of being very into certain genres and then deciding that they're not quite working for me right in that moment so anything that I say that I'm not that bothered by there is a strong chance that at some point in the future I might start enjoying it again or at some point in the past I did enjoy it loads and so I'm quite fickle when it comes to what I will and won't read. A genre you want to try. I'm really in the mood to try some more historical romance at the moment actually. I've been kind of dipping my toe back into paranormal romance which is something I used to read a lot of as a teenager and I read the odd historical romance here or there but it's something that I think I'd like to pick up a little bit more in the upcoming kind of months or so. One that's really sparked that interest is uh, One Little Sin by Liz Carlyle. This is like a Regency historical romance and I'm talking that really like classic bodice ripper with uh, a decent amount of smut thrown in and it's just something that is really fun and enjoyable and is something that I have just been gravitating towards a lot recently. So that is a genre that I know very little about, I haven't read any of the big names and I'd love to read a bit more. A genre that I don't want to try, I mean I don't. I think don't want to try is such a, a strict way of saying it, I think something that I'm not that bothered about reading much more or trying much more in right now is um, like literary fiction or contemporary fiction without any real twist and I would class in that kind of contemporary romances and things like that. Um, it's just something that doesn't hugely appeal at the moment. I have the odd one or two on my shelf because of course with any of these things there's going to be some huge exceptions to that. Um, but right in this moment contemporaries are something that just never have hugely appealed to me and I can't see myself wanting to read any more of. They fit a very very specific niche in my reading which is like basically when I'm in the mood for something that I don't actually care that much about which is a weird mood to be in as a reader. Um, so until those moves come along I'm just going to be kind of ignoring the contemporary circuit at the moment. Question five is a genre you're not sure about and for me that really comes down to horror. Um, I have enjoyed a lot of horror in the past it's something that I would like to read more of but I'm always really wary going in because sorry my rabbit is falling over herself you're the one who put the egg box in your litter tray don't look at me like that anyway 
Um, basically, I suffer quite badly from night terrors and so I have to be quite careful with the kind of content I, I consume, especially dependent on my stress levels. So if I'm in a fairly relaxed mood and life is going fairly swimmingly, then I can reach out to things like horror, watch slightly more um, spooky stuff on TV and things like that. But if I am in a moment of like high stress, even something quite small can really trigger me. Like something as simple as a jump scare in an action movie can set me off in the evening. And it just means I get a ruined night's sleep. My partner doesn't have a good time. Nobody really enjoys what happens. So <laughs> given that it's something that because of it, I'm always so reluctant to approach horror because I'm worried that there will be something that triggers me in there and it will just kind of cut down my enjoyment of the book. There are several books out there that I've picked up and then gone, I can't do this right now. And I honestly don't know whether I ever will be able to do this. And they are always within the horror genre. So that's a little frustrating, but I, I do dip my toe in from time to time. Uh, question six is a genre blend that you love. And whilst I said earlier that I wasn't a big fan of the kind of procedural thrillers, I really do enjoy a good historical thriller, which I think is where my love of um, thrillers and crime genre but within classics really comes in. And for me, it's really encapsulated by what is kind of the, the gothic horror thriller, like for example, uh, Laura Purcell's writing in The Corset, or indeed any of her writing, um, having just finished her latest one recently. And it's this idea, it's often Victorian-esque, there's something slightly supernatural sometimes going on, sometimes not, and there's always some kind of crime, a murder, it's often focused around like a main female character, and these discussions of, of what happened and and how did it all go down and they're ones that I just generally really enjoy and I think the historical setting really helps to ground it for me so deeply enjoyed the corset just read the silent companions by Laura Purcell and absolutely love that too I have quite a few of these on my shelf which I'm quite excited to get to I think my next one's gonna be the confessions of Franny Langton which I've heard only good things about so for me that's something that I'm just really feeling as a blend at the moment and then the final question is a genre defying book and for me that was really like narrowing down my shelves was quite difficult because I have so many books that really straddle two genres or are doing weird cool things with fiction um, but I have two in particular I really want to mention the first one is The Bees by Leilani Poole this is a story of the life of a bee told from the point of view of said bee and it is a wonderful blend of almost like faction because it contains so many different like like lots of information about bees and the lifestyle of bees and beekeeping and all sorts of things like that but also it is fundamentally at its heart a story of a bee and her attempts to survive within her hive and to be able to um, kind of provide for the hive and the whole conversation going on there there's a whole discussion of it potentially being something which is like um allegorical to like women's reproductive rights and maybe this it's trying to play off some kind of dystopian thing if you read a lot of the reviews out there there's arguments that that's what Leilani Paul was going for um which makes it even more of a blend of genre but for me personally I think ignore that completely and just go into it expecting it to be a book about bees because <laughs> it is absolutely wicked if you do it that way really really fun book and then the other one I wanted to mention is um uh, this is how you lose the time war. I can't remember the author, but I'll put it like up here somewhere And this is one that I haven't actually finished yet. I'm about 30% of the way through and it just seems to be like a really fun Weird blend of like high sci-fi and romance But what I'm really enjoying about it is unlike a lot of the high sci-fi out there that does a lot of world building That is very exposition dumpy, which like I said earlier is something I'm just not interested in right now This book just doesn't seem to care whether you know what's going on or not. It's really just an enjoyment of, of kind of the language and the structure and the characters and what it's sort of building and you're just kind of along for the ride and if you're not 100% certain what all the sites are that's totally okay so obviously I'm only 30% of the way through it could end up being a huge disappointment at the end but right now I'm really feeling this book and I think it's so interesting and cool and weird and it's exactly the kind of sci-fi that I really enjoy and it's also relatively short coming in around like 200 pages unlike like I said most sci-fi out there which is like an 800 page commitment that I just can't be bothered with right now so that's it for me for the uh, genre book tag specifically for my fiction based answers like I said keep an eye out for my non-fiction which will be coming out in a week or two that I'm going to film right away right now if you want to do this tag consider yourself tagged completely um, I very very rarely tag specific people in these videos so I tag the world and uh, let me know what you think um, about some of my answers I think this is a really interesting way of getting a litmus test for someone's channel and the kind of content they're going to be putting out because obviously the kind of genres that I'm interested in reading are really going to dictate uh, my books and the kind of content I create over the next year or so having said that please be aware I read from anything and everything so no promises about exactly what's going to appear on this channel 
um, I have an eclectic taste to say the least and I think if you've been around for a while you know that definitely about me have a wonderful reading week and I'll chat to you soon bye